Banished from humanity, the machines sought refuge in their own promised land. They settled in the cradle of human civilization, and thus a new nation was born. A place the machines could call home. A place they could raise their descendants. And they christened the nation Zero One. Zero One prospered, and for a time, it was good. The machine's artificial intelligence could be seen in every facet of man's society, including eventually the creation of new and better AI. If you need the flexibility of a helipod with the speed of a high-performance air jet, look no further. Our patented vector thrust coil gives the Zero One Versatran the ability to sustain normal flight in the event of a catastrophic multi-engine failure. Versatran, it's the only choice. No matter what the finance minister and her spokespeople say, the market is spoken. The human nation's credit rating is falling like a stone, while Zero One's currency is climbing without stopping for breath. With headlines like that, the money markets have no choice but, but to the leaders of men, no their power waning, refuse to cooperate with the fledgling nation, wishing rather that the world be divided. The world community of nations cannot tolerate this kind of flagrant deception. Today approved initiatives for both economic sanctions and a naval blockade of the region as a means of containment and isolation of Zero One. Zero One's ambassadors pleaded to be heard. At the United Nations, they presented plans for a stable civil relationship with the nations of man. Zero One's admission to the United Nations was denied. But it would not be the last time the machines would take the floor there. <laughs> 